Recently, Eva sat down with that woman behind us here, women's national team member Julie Ertz. It's her first interview since retiring from the game that she dominated for you. Yeah, Julie Ertz is a two-time Olympian, a two-time World Cup champion, and this summer she played, get this, every single minute of the Women's World Cup. Wow. Less than a year after giving birth to her son, Matt, and now after playing 10 years professionally, she's hanging up her cleats and opening up about it all in our candid conversation. To any young girl that's out there that dreams to be here, it's worth it. Every part of it. So let's go back to the very beginning. Why soccer? Soccer just embodied like who I was and like wanted to be. Luckily, I was able to go to an incredible college. I got to be on the youth national team. Once we won the under 20 World Cup, I was like, I don't want to do anything else but this for my life. You've had a lot of life happen while you were playing soccer. I mean, you got married. You have a baby. <laughs> you're, I mean, you're, your name was different in the beginning than it is now. <laughs> yes. I feel like I was so lucky to have soccer as an outlet, really, because I think it allowed me to, to learn so much um, on and off the field and share that with my family. It really is cool how sports can unify people and be an outlet and bring you know so much emotion and it's just all because of a sport. I have to ask you about the World Cup because there was a lot of discussion about the U.S. women's team there. It is a cool way to lose on penalties. And the reality is you could have finished it in the run of play and the U.S. will know that. There was criticism of like how y'all played. How did you feel about that criticism? I mean, tough. I mean, obviously, we didn't have the, the greatest of outcomes at all during this year. I think it's one of those like common saying is like, effort's going to be talent. And not that we didn't have effort in there. It's just we didn't put a performance on to, to win the game. And at the end of the day, if you don't score goals, you don't win games. And we know that better than anybody else. And so game's about scoring more goals, and we didn't do that. I mean, I think personally about what I was doing eight months after I had my child. And it was not playing at a professional soccer game. <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to get back. I'm not going to lie. I am just as confused as you are. I feel like the saying is it takes a village to raise a child. I guess it also takes a village and a lot of support to get back pretty quickly after pregnancy because I, I got home and was like, I don't know what just happened. Like, I, I got home, I looked at my husband, I'm like, I don't, I don't know what I just did. At what point did you decide you were going to retire? It was pretty shortly after, I think, just understanding kind of the craziness that the year was and navigating being a first-time mom. This is the moment for Julie Ertz to bid farewell and bring the curtain down on a wonderful career. Sacrificing time was probably the biggest one for me, of just realizing, like, you know, if I have to drop off Madden um, and leave like man I just I don't want to miss any of his first don't get me wrong I, I love playing but like obviously spending time with my family there's just nothing like it and so I think that was just like a moment for me of I can't balance enough of what I want to do you said when you retired mama can still play <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like I could step away and be like it's not because mama can't play Mama can play. <laughs> I did say that. People seem to really like that one. In well, but also, lots of people were saying you've been, you were playing some of the best soccer they've seen you play in your whole career. To be able to choose yourself, like, this is the right time for me. I mean, gosh, I look at my kid's face and I'm like, I just, I want to put you down to, to bed every night. I want to wake you up. I'm stepping away and knowing that, like, I feel like I was playing great soccer. But at the same time, like, I have been doing this for a long time. There's just also time that I just can't get back. So I'm just gonna let my, my heart lead the way. What's next for you? Exactly. <laughs> I think a clear one is motherhood. I've really enjoyed doing our work with our foundation. Also just be okay with maybe a little bit uncertainty too. I feel like normally I'd be pretty nervous about the unknown, but I'm actually very optimistic and excited to just venture out on what's next. And she's had some cool moments, you know, Madden, her little boy, took his first steps while they were at the World Cup because he was there with her. And this is the craziest, most mind-blowing part of it all to me. She wasn't sleeping during the World Cup because he wasn't sleeping. Oh, my God. And so she still played the whole time. Every minute of all the games. Wow. That's incredible. Great career. Our thanks to Julie Ertz and the best of luck to her on her next chapter. For sure. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime.
We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.